Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be doing Amber's DIY plastic surgery. I've seen another girl do this and she looked amazing. So I wanna see how I look with all these techniques that, you know, she showed us in her video. So this is my before. Yes, I look a little like crushed. I have a few pimples here and there, but yeah, so I'm gonna do my transformation. I'm not gonna do like the whole body because I'm just like not gonna show my body at the moment. Um. But yeah, I love the concept of the video and I'm just excited to see how I would look at the end with all of these like makeup techniques and everything. Um, the only thing that I'm not gonna, I don't have the balls to doing is the shaving the whole tail of my brows. I did the tip. I don't know if you can see like they're already growing back. Like there's like some really sparse areas. Um, I'm not gonna do that just because it's just, just, it does not look good on me. But I will be doing like something similar i'm gonna be gluing down the tail um to see like okay let's see um but yeah i know it's like a really very popular technique um because it makes your like face like look more i don't know like a bella hadid moment but that's why we're also doing the hair technique so if you haven't watched her video amber's video i really suggest watching it enough talking we're gonna start or i'm gonna start getting my transformation going so if you guys are interested in how that will turn out to be well then keep on watching few layers later now i'm gonna start setting the brows with translucent powder i'm using the photo focus from wet and wild i don't know the point of this but we're doing it um this is where it kind of gets downhill because the glue like just acts like weird on me when i do it and then especially once i like apply um foundation it's just like oh my god it's just so bad so we're doing this um this brow is always like giving me so such a pain so as you see like this now gave me a smooth type of thing and then over here i have more bumps I think it's because I didn't like let it dry. So I guess I'm gonna let it like this again. I'm gonna watch another <laughs> Patrick Stars video cause he's like, he's he be slaying. Okay, so I guess I just like dusted off that thing. So now I'm gonna go in with concealer. Um, I'm gonna use this thing from the Anastasia kit. Um, I'm just trying to find like a concealer brush. So I'm going to use something similar to my skin tone, which is none of these colors because they're like all pasty and stuff. So I'm just going to mix these two. I'm going to mix up with it, this one in the middle because it has like a peachy undertone and I didn't correct anything. So we're just doing this. And then on top of that, I'm just going to apply my, my foundation. Anyways, I'm just applying that. You can see the hairs now, which is like not a good thing, but I mean, it's whatever. And if you hear like a little dangling, it's my dog, Chanel. Chanel, do you want to say hi? She just want to say hi, bitch. She don't like y'all bitches. I don't know. My blush. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it looks a little crusty right now. Um, so how y'all been? So, I was saying something about graduation, but I just deleted it like that video. But I'm gonna talk about it now. Graduation was two weeks ago. I graduated, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do a whole story time about my senior experience. Um, a lot of people don't know that I was really struggling with a lot of things. But I'm just gonna, you know speak on that just you know so if somebody is dealing with something you know they're not alone um but yeah and yeah that's like another video that i'm going to do in the near future okay so i'm going to use my this it's like a really full coverage that's why i'm going to use it but i don't think it's my shade it's like a little too light um but yeah, I'm gonna, just gonna dry it. I'd use it with a dry sponge. I'm gonna use it on top of that. Do it. Okay. It looks.
looks like a little green. But we're gonna work with that. I'm just passing that on. It looks horrible, I know. I should have just shaved it off, right? But no, we're not doing that, bitch. We're not doing that. So now I'm just getting micellar water just to kind of clean it up and stuff. Hopefully I don't expose my hair. So now I'm moving on to foundation, bitches. Whoa. Okay, so I was out and about for like an hour. And I went out like this. But I didn't actually go into the store or anything. I was just in the car or whatever. But this is how that brows are looking like. I'm going to fix this one because I think it's a little too, like, high. Um, so the products that I'm using, um, I was going in with this color. This is, like, throwback. This is when I was doing my makeup with this for 8th grade. Um, I was using this one from the Chocolate Balm. Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette from Too Faced. It's, I think, Pudding. The shade Pudding. But it was like too light, but it's a good starting kit. And then I went in with this one, the BH Cosmetics Brow Palette. And I went in with this black one. And I'm setting it with this one. But, yeah. Um. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add more of that cream. Um. But, yeah. I don't know how I should do it. Oh, I guess that's the best thing I can do. So I'm going to clean it up with regular concealer. see the point um yeah that's so the brow i'm kind of not really impressed with the look anymore i'm just now using um the elf camel concealer as a primer uh the shade is medium sand so it's pretty light and when i was applying this i noticed that the concealer underneath like the thing was lifting on this side and i had to peel it so that's why it kind of looks naked on this side and I just don't like the how dark it is there. So I'm using a variation of this palette. I'm using like peanut butter, truffle, lic licorice, pudding, and this one. All the like the nudes. And then I'm also using my Dose of Colors Desi and Katie collection. I'm just using like the browns as well. Uh, so I don't know where I, oh, I'm just placing like the colors that I think should be placed first and I'm just creating, I'm just accentuating the, the eye, I kind of did it on this side but I don't know if I'm liking it or whatever, um, but yeah, I definitely do see myself doing this again but mastering it, you know, again. So I'm like a, a step closer to getting it down now. Um, but yeah. I think my mistake was using uh, that foundation because it was like too orange and it like oxidized. That's why. So yeah. Um, so next time I'm just going to use something like. Like I'm just going to go straight in with my foundation. But yeah. So now I'm just using more colors to def uh, to deepen up the the wings. I'm just using a makeup wipe to cleaning it. So I did it too exaggerated from this side to this side. So that's like something that I'm like, what the fuck? But then again, I have like so much base. It's crazy. Come on. I'm actually really liking this side but I don't know like this 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 side's always like my good side I don't know uh, you can't explain that to me but yeah I'm not gonna do the whole like cat eye thing because it does not look attractive on me um, I honestly don't know how to do it properly then I'll just like look weird so yeah I'm just gonna skip that step and then I'm just using this little topper it's pink sugar I never liked it because I didn't like before i was like what the fuck what is this but it's a topper and it's cute now like it's more trendy now 
But yeah, that's a cute thing now. And that's basically the eye. That's what I'm gonna do. So now I'm gonna move into my face. I'm gonna do my regular face. And then on the nose, I'll record it because she used like a few techniques to like contour your nose. So yeah, and I don't know. I just noticed that I got this. I don't know why. I'm telling you, my skin is like so sensitive now. But yeah. This is the eye. I'm gonna do the nose contour now. So she went in with concealer on like the sides of her nose. I'm gonna make sure I don't have powder so nothing like a crazy reaction would happen. Um, but yeah. So she just in, she went in with concealer like on the sides, so like that. Um, I'm using this one from Maybelline. And then she blended it. I think that's a sponge. I'm not sure I didn't. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I'm just blending it with the sponge now. And then the contour that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the Kat Von D palette. Oh, she used like a very like cool tone. So I'm going to use this one because it's like, you know, if you want to contour, use like ashy tones. So she went in with her nose, like these little corner nose. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, I'm so annoying. So she like chiseled those corners. Okay, right off the bat, it kind of looks weird, but I mean, it's whatever. I'm gonna make it work. And I'm using this Anastasia brush. I've seen, um, I think Angel Ochoa. Uh, he's on TikTok. He's so talented. But yeah. So I'm using the same one up my bridge and she started off like instead of like this way like most beauty grooves she started from like the end to the top. So that's what I'm gonna do. Again doing it to the other side. And like the more closer the thinner your nose is gonna be. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm doing I mean. Add a little bit more. And to the the thing that she was like saying like do is doing the tip so right off the bat it kind of looks weird because on me she has like very like pointy nose already and i have like a very round nose so i'm pretty sure if i put the thing it's gonna make it like look round so i mean each um each nose is different so that's why you can't contour like uh, someone because you know you have a different nose so yeah that's probably my mistake but overall I don't know if it looks snatch or whatever I'm just gonna blend it and add a little bit of like bake and then add um, highlight and that's the nose do you guys see a difference I really don't but I mean it's whatever I was like checking the time I'm like dude I've been working on this for like almost like two hours because I was like going on a break and shit. Anyway, so I'm just using. Now we're gonna do the lips. Um, she used this like KKW lip liner, which I was dying to get my hands on, but then um, Ulta closed. So yeah, so I have not, you know, even like I, I could have ordered it, but I'm just like, you know what, no. So I'm using this one. It's the LA Girl lip liner and. Uh, coffee um and if you were if you guys are even wondering i use this one uh this uh eco lips um lips lip balm and it's the mint one but yeah so she overlined her lips i already have like big lips but she also does and she made them even bigger so that's what we're gonna do i really don't know how she did it but i mean I don't know, like, each lip is different. Like, it's so weird. Like, I'm, like, really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well. Um, I also need to sharpen it, but I can't find my sharpener. So, I'm just gonna add this lipstick. I'm using this one, the LA Girl Nebula Noir. Oh, my gosh, she has Corona. I feel so bad for her. And she's, like, oh, my God. I'm so, uh, hopefully, she gets well. Okay, so that's the lip color. Uh, I'm gonna add gloss just because I always add gloss. And I'm just gonna add it on here. Okay, that's enough. 
so that's basically it for the makeup now i'm gonna go in with the hair but i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna add the lashes um but yeah i'll see you guys soon. Girls, so can you guys see the dramatic like oh my gosh that's crazy okay so this is my makeup all done and whatever so now we're gonna move into hair so this is the diy um facelift so what she did was part her hair in the middle i honestly don't like my hair parted in the middle but i mean there's so many ways that you can part your hair um if you don't know just watch brad um the hairstylist um he did actually a video like i think last week about parting so yeah um so i'm just gonna do like probably like an off center parting i don't know I, if I can't even do a straight line, oh my god, that's crazy. I don't know, I'm just gonna do that. Okay, that's some. I don't know. I honestly don't know what you- uh, Okay, that's whatever. We're just doing it for a little bit because I hate having my hair, like, really tight. But that's, like, besides the point. Um, So, now you're getting a little section of the side, like, probably here. And then you're basically lifting this. So, you can't really see it differently because, like, the whole eyebrow I did, it was, like, really drastic. But you can, like, you can see. So, we're going to do that to the other side and sectioning the hair. So, I think I did it, like, here. It's just a little section. Okay. So, what you're going to do, you're going to tie it and then you're going to cinch it. Make sure it's tight. You get a... So, I don't know if you can, see, you can see a difference, and then you let your hair down, let it down, let it down in the middle. And then you put your hair in a ponytail, and that's basically the video. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Um, my hair is like all nappy and stuff, so I'm not even gonna bother. It would have worked so much better, but I would have been patient, but honestly, I'm so impatient at the moment. I just wanna, I don't know, just wanna take pictures and then go to sleep. But yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. And if I master something, and if you want like a more in-depth tutorial, let me know. But overall, this is how it turns out. And I hope you guys watch Amber's video. Um, she's so talented and highly, highly recommend her. She's like one of like the few YouTubers who actually have really good content. So yeah, now I'm just gonna part my hair like this. I don't know, I just hate my hair like being all flimsy. So I'm gonna train my hair to be in the middle, so that's why. So that's that. So yeah, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. So until next time, bye guys.